Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so I'm sorry if things are gonna be a little bit chaotic, but I'm just gonna try my best and um, just see what happens, okay? I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. If you like them, please subscribe and um, tell me how this reading resonated with you. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, I will leave all of my information in the description. So today's uh, reading is going to be a quick message from Spirit to you uh, and you can go ahead and pick any of these piles. This is going to be pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Maybe these numbers are significant to you or maybe you just feel attracted to them. Just pick whichever one you want and um, we can get started. Okay, pile number one. So we're gonna start with your tarot and then we're going to pull some oracle decks at the end um but the energy that i'm feeling for you guys i'm feeling that you guys might be feeling a little bit anxious right now and um you might be doubting yourself a lot and uh you're um you're just kind of i'm getting this feeling of very um unsettled kind of energy a very um you're kind of trying to dif d differentiate <laughs> You're trying to make a difference between your logical thoughts and your intuition is what I'm hearing. You're kind of still trying to learn which voice is your intuition and which voice is your like, logic and mind. And um, you guys might be acting a little bit irrational right now is what I'm hearing. Like you might be acting out of... Um, anger no, not anger certainly but maybe out of maybe you might be feeling like really scared and um just very uncertain and because of that you're just kind of acting out of that you're not really acting out of like peace out of like stability i don't know if you can um i hope that you guys can understand me uh but here with the three of uh, swords i feel like you guys have been maybe hurt in the past um, or just been through a situation that has kind of caused you to get a little bit upset and um, maybe even angry at yourself is what I'm hearing. I feel like you guys are not seeing things so clearly right now. You're lacking some clarity and you're, um, you're lacking some clarity right now and um, you're feeling very anxious and very like, Oh my god, what do I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? Um, it's really... You guys really need to ground yourself is what I'm hearing. Um, maybe play here because on the back of the deck we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like you guys maybe need to spend some time in nature and play around water is what I'm hearing. I'm just kind of getting the image of like children playing so like fr freely in without any worries. So that also could be, you guys could be very worried right now. Um, so I feel like the message from spirit is what I'm getting is uh, for you to just like, you need to ground yourself. You need to sit with yourself and just get your thoughts kind of situated and then act. Don't act out of, uh, oh my God, I can't find the word. Don't act from a place of uh, anxiety, like um, don't be irrational, kind of just ground yourself first and then act. That's, that's the message that I'm getting for you guys, okay? So we're going to pull out some oracle cards just to uh, get maybe like some extra messages. So let's see what this pile one to know, spirit. Okay. okay, you guys got two cards. Uh, we have Work Through Your Fears, A Very Fiery Climax Approaches. Okay, so yeah, you guys are kind of going through like this, like, you're there, but you're not there. Like, you're almost there, so that's why things might be like um, a little bit crazy right now for you, is what I'm getting. But I think the message is just to like sit with yourself, it's what I'm hearing. 
ground yourself, work through your fears. I think that a lot of the things that you think might be happening are just like in your head and they're not real. So you kind of just need to ground yourself is what I'm hearing right now, okay? And we're also gonna pull one last message for you guys. Okay, let's see. Meditation brings answers, yeah. Just like I said, you guys need to ground yourself. You guys really need to just, yeah, just like meditate, like clear your head because I think a lot of the things that might be like worrying you or just making you feel very anxious can be resolved by just sitting with yourself and clearing your mind. So yeah. Today's message from spirit is to just ground yourself and maybe meditate, go out in nature, soak up some sun, maybe play or do like an activity that um, you love doing as a child. Thank you for watching this video, poll number one. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, then please leave a like and a comment, maybe subscribe. It will really help me out a lot. And yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Hi, group number two. If you chose this file, then this is going to be your reading. Uh, you might be seeing 2 2 a lot, or you just kind of resonate with um, this number lately. Uh, let's see what kind of message Spirit has for you today. Okay, so these are your tarot cards that came out for you today. We're going to pull some oracle cards in the end just to get some extra messages. But uh, I have to say, like, wow, that's kind of like the first thing um, that I got when I picked out your cards. Um, guys you have been so patient is what i'm hearing um i feel like in the past in the recent past you guys have been trying a lot of new things um kind of like being just very patient and i feel like you guys have also trusted the universe a lot uh, i definitely see that you guys have been healing a lot lately and uh, maybe practicing more trusting yourself is what i'm getting here and i feel like at the end you kind of you guys here with a hierophant, um, his hands are kind of like raised. And when I pulled out this card, I kind of got the message of, okay, like I give up. <laughs> I give up. I don't know what to do anymore. Like I've tried everything and I just don't know what to do anymore. And I feel like right as you get into that energy, there is going to be like this lucky opportunity coming your way. <laughs> um, but I'm sensing a lot of luck with this pile. I feel like you guys have been very patient with yourself. Um, and because of that, you're kind of going to get like this reward. Like it's going to be out of nowhere. Um, also, I'm kind of getting like, okay, there's, I'm sensing a lot of like um, unknown energy here, but in a good way, uh, you know, like, something unexpected is going to happen to you guys is what I'm getting. Um, I'm also kind of getting the energy of, of you guys like, you think that you're gonna get yourself into one thing or like you think that you're getting this one opportunity but there might be like a like a plus to it like there is gonna be something that comes along with it that you guys are gonna be surprised by but in a good way <laughs> so i see that you guys are your message from spirit today is to just like that your your reward is gonna come and it's gonna be it's coming here like it's I'm kind of getting like two to three days um just very fast and this might be like not the, like the biggest thing in the world but it's definitely going to be something that um i feel like you're going to think of this reading in two or three days and be like oh like i got this like lucky opportunity like it's going to be something lucky like um i don't know i'm just getting like this very like go lucky kind of energy from you guys uh, but let's get some extra messages for you. We're going to pull out from this moon deck. Okay. Let's see? A new romantic cycle. Okay, so that's kind of also could represent the Hierophant. Um, so maybe this lucky opportunity could be connected to love. Or maybe you could be meeting someone and then unexpectedly maybe you start liking them or something like that you know um i'm just kind of sensing and again there is um a lot about balance in your pile i'm also seeing so maybe you guys really have worked 
lately on your balance maybe like balance between your work life and your love life or just um i'm seeing that you guys are very imbalanced right now just because of the temperance here and we also have the skill here so um good job uh oh and also here we have like two things again it's like i feel like you guys are very imbalanced um you're very healthy is what i'm hearing i don't know why uh okay let's see let's get an angel message don't stop okay so what you're doing guys don't stop i feel like you guys are, are healing yourself you guys are really working on yourself here and you're really focusing on yourself um and you're also trusting the universe more um you're just very in tune with yourself you're very balanced with yourself and your feelings and the universe and everything so um i'm hearing that you're doing a good job and don't stop um so yeah that, i feel like that's that's just like your message for today is to just keep going you guys are doing a great job at what you're doing and there's gonna be some lucky opportunities coming your way so i'm really excited and i'm really happy to hear that about you guys uh if you enjoyed this reading then please leave a like or a comment tell me if it resonated you can also subscribe if you would like to see more of my readings and i hope to see you back panel number two thank you so much hello panel number three welcome to your reading if you chose this number um then this is your pile seven 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 to me is a very lucky number i have also been seeing it a lot lately so uh i feel like something good will happen to you maybe pile number three so these are your tarot cards we're also going to pull some oracle cards at the end but first i just want to read from the tarot so speaking of seven 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 um as i said it's like a lucky number uh we have the nine of cups here in the back of the deck uh which to me it's just kind of like a wish fulfillment so or something just very lucky happening to you something that you guys have been manifesting finally coming to fruition and i definitely see here that you guys have been wishing for something with the star card um maybe you guys have been manifesting i'm sorry about the water <laughs> okay maybe you guys have been like manifesting a lot journaling a lot I do sense a very big energy here of um, just manifesting and this you could be manifesting like a new home or maybe like a more stable job or just like an improvement on your current living situation is what I'm hearing. Uh, I feel like you guys have been experiencing a lot of like burden lately. Um, you guys have been maybe uh, carrying a lot more than you can so um, I'm just getting the message of just kind of be kinder to yourself, be nicer to yourself. Um, maybe you have been also like very stuck lately and you have been kind of like, why are my manifestations not coming true? Why is it not happening? Like I'm doing everything right, but why is it not? And this is a sign that it's going to come to you, okay? I really sense a big energy for you guys here of something that you guys have been wishing for for so long. and. This is not like something that you guys have been manifesting into like the past two or three months. Maybe I'm assessing like this could be like two or three years. Something big is finally going to um, is going to come to your life. Um, and here with the four of uh, wands, I heard like the message of spirit is sending you on your way. Like on your yeah, you guys could be manifesting traveling is what i'm hearing or just moving out of your current home to a new one i do see that you're going through some stuff here but um this also could be a sign that this manifestation will come literally out of nowhere and just put you in this very big and bright energy so i love that for you guys okay we're also going to pull out some oracle cards for you guys just to get some extra messages so let's see Okay. Oh, you also got two cards. Pile one also got two cards. We have pr prosperity lies ahead. Yes, as I said, you guys have been dealing with a lot lately, but something is going to manifest very, very soon. We also have it's time to release negativity. And you see this card also falls right under the Ten of Wands. So you guys need to release this baggage that you guys have been holding I'm hearing that the universe has your back, so whatever doesn't serve you, just drop it. You guys could be 
around a lot of negativity maybe in your house i'm i'm just sensing a lot something has to do with your current living space or your current uh house in this reading um so that could definitely be changing or you're wanting to change it uh maybe just your current living situation is not the healthiest for you right now so i just get a very big strong energy of you guys manifesting a new home here so if you have been doing that then um it's on your way <laughs> okay and last i'm gonna pull out oh you got two as well um just gonna pull out some angel cards so we have choose a new direction and abundance okay i'm really sensing that you guys are are going far away that's kind of what it got is like you're not gonna walk the same direction or the same path as the people around you is what i'm hearing so i'm just getting a very strong energy of you guys wanting to move of you guys wanting to travel and see the world and do something different uh do something else there's a lot of abundance coming your way as i said uh especially with the nine of um cups here i think it's a beautiful energy for you guys and i just see you guys really spirit today saying just release the negativity because there is something really really amazing coming coming literally out of nowhere for you guys i hope you guys resonated with your reading if you did then please leave a like and maybe comment tell me if it resonated and how you liked it and also if you want to see more of my readings you can subscribe as well thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye